man. I've got some Bulgarian choir music, man. It's beautiful, but it's just, it's like you could mix it with stuff, like whether it's techno or house or whatnot, but it's beautiful, man, but it's quite intense if you play it on its own. Yusuf Latif, uh, Live Humble. It's kind of like a funk thing meets spiritual jazz. It's like, like a band with this choir on top of it. It's beautiful. It's very flexible and it's just a beautiful piece of music, really. Thank you, Yusuf. Track called After Tomorrow, which is from my latest release called Absolute Zero, also on Vinyl Factory. I don't think I have one particular track, but I like to drop it down to something quite ambient or washy. Or there's a tune by Alice Coltrane called Baja Govindam um, that I really like. No one there's a tune called uh, ja Jabulai. No, no. no. No, the band is called Jabula. Jabula or Jabula, they're from South Africa. The song I think is called Next Stop Soweto. And I really love the song, but I don't, it's not the sort of thing I'd play out. You know, sometimes it's cool to take it There's a tune Cascade by Digo, Digo and Kaidi. It's just pumping, man. It's like the mix is amazing, the kick hits, and it's hard not to dance to, really. But it's funny, man, I ran into so many people here on this festival that just have said to me, like, Rye Lane Joffa is the tune I rescued the dance floor. I don't know, probably something by Brandy or Genuine or something, you know. <laughs> I love um, Get This Money, Jay Diller. I think from Herbie Hancock. Oh, I can't remember the original track. I think it's from that album, Feet Don't Fame Me Now. But yeah, Get This Money by Jay Diller, where Herbie's like on the vocoders. And what Jay Diller did with it is just amazing, man. Johnny Guitar Watson, uh, In The World or Booty Uti. Booty Uti. Yeah, it's not that expensive, but it's just amazing. Some records are just expensive, but that's just the way it is. But I'm equally into stuff that people don't necessarily think is cool or discard, but just really is a good groove, you know? So yeah. Anything by Saibande, the band man, uh, Promised Heights is like one of my favourite records by there, but they're playing this festival as well. They're, they're coined as like sort of a Brit jazz funk band, but a lot of them were born in the West Indies, Jamaica, Grenada, and they were really active in like the 70s alongside bands like Kokomo and uh, Incognito and Beggars, Beggar and Co. For me, I guess I have an affinity with it because I'm second generation West Indian. You know, my grandma's from the West Indies and it, it, it makes a lot of sense to me. Like them being in Britain and making that music, you know, it's, it speaks to me really. So that's what, yeah, anything by them is amazing. Yeah.